How's it going guys? It's Brian from Cross Coast Gaming and this is another Java game programming tutorial. Uh, last time we drew a couple of the textures onto the screen here. Dirt, grass, good stuff. Um, this episode we're going to make our own variable type, kind of, if you can call it that. It's an enumerator. So we're going to go to the data package and make a new enum and name it tile type and we're going to create the constructor here so just put tile type and it's going to take a string for the texture name and a boolean on whether or not we can build on that tile um, so boolean buildable and just set this dot texture name equals texture name And this dot buildable equals buildable. And now at the top, we're going to create these actual variables here. So string texture name and Boolean buildable. And don't worry about the red lines because we're doing it kind of out of order here. And then up here is where we create the actual types of uh, tiles. So the actual tile types. And you do that just by typing grass. And then it's like you're going to create the grass using the constructor we just made. So for grass, it's going to be uh, grass 64 is what our is what our uh, texture is called, I think. Yep. And buildable will say yes, you can build on grass. That's true. Put a comma there and do dirt. Just dirt 64, and that is false for now. So these are just two simple tile types and. Uh, kind of setting up a framework that's really easily expandable. You know, you guys can make your own tiles uh, and you can add different keys or attributes to each tile. Like right now we just have buildable and the texture. So the one thing you're always going to want is the texture. We can add things like uh, can enemies go over it or can projectiles go through it, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But for now, buildable, easy stuff. So now we're going to go to the tile class and instead of the texture over here, we're going to make it take a tile type of type and in the constructor we're going to say this dot oops up here we're going to create private tile type type and the constructor say this dot type equals type this dot texture here's the magic equals type dot texture name oh did that wrong equals quick load we're going to use our quick load method they made last time quick load this we're going to say type dot texture name there you go and i don't have quick load in mind you might have it in your uh, tile class but if you don't like me then you're going to need to import the static helpers dot artist dot star that'll give us all the methods in there all right so that should work oops error somewhere Type dot texture name cannot be resolved to a field. What does it even mean? Hmm. Let's see. Tile type. Did I save it? Is that the issue? Yeah, I didn't save it. Okay, <laughs> that was silly. Uh, so now let's uh, create some getters and setters. So the way you do that is you just go below the constructor, and if you're in Eclipse, there's an easy like shortcut. Just click Source, Generate Getters and Setters. Select all. Okay. And that allows other classes to have access to these private variables we made. So now let's try it out. Let's go to uh, the boot class. Let's get rid of these two textures we're drawing right now. And get rid of the textures up here. And let's make an actual tile. So tile tile equals new tile. And we'll spawn at 0, 0. It's 64 by 64. And the way you give it the type, you say tile type dot grass. And now we can draw rect text. I think that's what it is. And we're going to say tile dot get x, tile dot get y, tile dot get width, tile dot get height. And I think we have the uh, texture before the get x. So tile dot get texture 
All right, so make sure you got that down like I did. And it looks like this takes texture, float, 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 float. So maybe I spelled, uh, let's see, what do we have here in the artist? What's it actually called? Draw quad text. My bad. Draw quad text. There we go. So let's try it. Boom, works. So now, if you want to create another one for fun, tile, tile2 equals new tile at uh, 0, 064. It's 64 by 64, and we'll say tile type dot dirt. And then we can just do the same thing here. We can actually just copy this line and paste it down here. And just put a 2 after all these tiles. So tile2. Tile 2, tile 2, tile 2, and tile 2. All right, sweet. So now that we're passing in a tile type, it's going to make it a lot easier moving forward. It's a nice framework, a nice little foundation for our tile class. And uh, next video, we're going to give the tile method or the tile class an actual draw method. So instead of writing this out every single time, which is already pretty tiring after just doing it twice. We're just going to say tile.draw and it should handle that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.